Hi, I'm Phil Fayico, uh, the uh, developer, creator of the Bada Bing board game. We're here at the Javits Center for the uh, Toy Fair. Um, we're launching our, our product. Um, uh, a a little bit. Fantastic. Excuse me? Oh, no, it said fantastic. It's looking awesome. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. We, we came up with a... Um, very interesting version of uh, dealing with the American uh, gangsters. It's sort of a melting pot of gangsters, this particular game. Everyone starts off, each player, as a, as a mob boss. And the object is to become the boss of bosses. Uh, throughout the game, you land on various different type businesses and you purchase them. For instance, an example is a concrete shoes construction. You purchase it. If and when another player lands on your business, they pay you a street tax. Um, you receive a territory title, proving that you own the business each time you purchase it. In addition to that, each player starts the game with a crew of five soldiers, represented by hat pieces. Uh, I have some here, and uh, these, are, these are the hat pieces. So each player receives five uh, soldiers. Uh, throughout the game, uh, soldiers can be eliminated or whacked. Uh, regardless of how much business you accumulate and how much money you accumulate, once you lose all your soldiers, you're out of the game. It's a game of strategy, risk. Each player's fending for themselves. No one's your friend. Uh, your, your object is to become number one, the number one survivor. Um, and, uh, you know, so uh, we think it's an exciting game. There's a lot going on. There's a, there's, a lot, there's a lot of interaction with the cards. We have special investigation and, um, and or if you can't refuse cards. So when you land on certain squares, you get to pick a card. The cards direct you to do certain things. You can, uh, you can eliminate another person's soldier. You can land on a specific business. You can hurt someone in other ways financially. The uh, offer you can't refuse is sort of orders directed through the, through the mob itself. The special investigation gives you instructions and directions as per, let's say, the, uh, the law, the FBI. Um, um, Money, we all start with, uh, depending on how many players start, it's two to eight players can play in a game. Based on the amount of players, determines the amount of money you start with. On average, it's about $50 million a player. Uh, there's five different denominations uh, to help you figure out the cost on, you know, because there's different prices of things. Uh, the players, they're all individuals. There's male, female. One of the things that we wanted to accomplish is mainstream the game so that it's for all sexes, all different types of people. It's not sp specifically directed to one particular nationality. Uh, we created the Bada Bing universe, the Bada Bing crime family. So the object of the game is that we're all part of that. And it's, it's anyone can be involved regardless of age, race, uh, gender and, and so forth uh, and uh, the game itself is done in a very tasteful way it's clean there's no there's, uh, for those uh, for mainstream purposes there's no drugs violence uh, you know weapons uh, smoking we're keeping it very mainstream uh, but we don't lose the feel and authenticity of the streets and the conniving and what we have to do to survive within the game, which is, in my opinion, the, the, the you know, the interest, the, the power of the game. The rules, I think, are laid out pretty easy, pretty general. Uh, we made it easy to understand. It's clear. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's, it's you'll get it within 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, you'll be able to understand the game fairly well. Um, so let me ask you a question. How did this whole thing come to be? Like, 
what brought on this board game becoming the reality? Because, yeah. Well, originally, I had a game many, many years, but over 20 years ago. Uh, I have an interest in film. I'm a big film connoisseur. I see a lot of different films, uh, you know, whether it's gangster films, comedies, horror, westerns, and so forth. Uh, I write movie scripts. Uh, I've been dabbling in the, in the movie industry for over 30 years, screenplay writing and so forth. And I have, of course, I have a fascination with uh, uh, the American mob in terms of its alluring, you know, it's, it, it's, it, I find it to be very interesting. And I thought, I said, you know, there's a, there's a huge audience out here. Let's see if we can create something that's fun, that we can tap into, uh, putting certain spins and, you know, certain, certain uh, very challenging risks to it. And, 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 and it was devised early on. I, so I had, so I got together with my, I have a partner, uh, Bobby Fallis and I, and we decided to really spend a lot of time and really develop this game into something that we think people will truly, truly enjoy. Groups of people. You know, board games are on the rise, particularly, I believe, since COVID. And, um, you know, we wanted to create a fun family game so that people can get together. And we think we accomplished that. And um, so that's... Uh, so it's been something in the making for a long, long time. Oh, that's awesome. I, the, the board game looks fantastic. It sounds like... You guys have a very awesome grasp of what you're trying to obtain here to get people in to play the game, uh, which I think is cool. I think the fact that you're taking the American gangster and uh, finding a way to uh, bring it into homes in a new way mm -hmm. is exciting. Uh, as we both know, uh, and a lot of others do as well, uh, the American gangster is a part of the Americana. Right. It's all. It's one of the things. That yeah, I mean, people grew up. Thank you. People grew up with it. I mean, your Hollywood in the early twenties, thirties. I mean, gangsters were very big, and you know, and then there's been periods throughout the decades that the, you know there's highs and lows. But, but I think the American audience is uh, uh, public is by in, by and large, very, you know, interested. They find it interesting. The underdog. The, the, the underdog, you know, the good guy that, uh, you know, uh, the bad guy that, uh, you know, uh, just does what he wants. He goes against all, you know, all, you know, against the law. And uh, it's almost like a Robin Hood thing. People love rebels and outlaws. Exactly. So, so, so this game gives you that authentic sense to based on the wheelings and dealings. I'll give you another example I'd like to share. When you land on a business, uh, when you roll the dice and you land on a business, if you don't purchase it, it goes up for auction. So then you're vying, people, different players can vie and offer different amounts of money to purchase the business. So you, sometimes you can get a business less than, the, than it's listed for, or you could pay a lot more. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of different factors and which I think makes the game very interesting. One of the things on the board is it gives you an option when you, when you move your, your, your marker piece, it gives you an option whether you can cross a, a bridge, there's two bridges in the game, and you bypass certain squares. Some of these squares that you bypass are very detrimental, they can hurt you, they can, they can actually eliminate you from the game or your soldiers. You can bypass that, but with that, you're losing some good squares where you can get some real big money in the game. So it, there's a strategy to it that you'll you'll eventually become accustomed to or start to figure out for yourself. So we give you these options within the game. Uh, it's you know, and it's you know, it, it's it's more explained in the rules uh, to give you a better understanding when, when you start the game. But so you have these options. So, that, so there's a strategy to it. Of course, there's a risk. Some things are beyond your control, but there are many things that are. And uh, we think that's the, uh, you know. So we think we have a very unique play product. 
for the public. That's awesome. Um, let me ask you this. What is your, t if somebody is to purchase a game, what is the thing you want them to take away most from it? Well, the game is designed to bring people together, have fun, have a good time, all in good taste. Uh, even though you may get annoyed with each other because you're attacking each other, which is what we wanted. We want competition, but it's done in good fun. It's done in good taste. And we think, there's, we think it's hilarious. Um, and, and that's what we want to do. We want to share the experience with people so that they congregate, interact with each other directly. And uh, we think that's... Uh, that's why it's a board game. That's this. awesome. That is awesome to hear. Now, do we have a launch date yet, or are we still trying to hammer all those details out? We're, we're launching the product. We have a uh, product made. We have a website, uh, www.badabinggame.com, that uh, will be, the games will be available for purchase on the website. We're uh, at the toy show, as I may have mentioned earlier, and uh, we're in discussions with retailers. So uh, it'll, our website will start to tell you where you can purchase it uh, at retailers, as well as the site itself. So Fantastic. Um, if people wanted to stay up to date, uh, do you guys have any social media they can follow? We're developing that as we speak. I mean, we're on, we're on X and we're on Facebook and Instagram. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be out promoting and pushing the products. And there'll be some, you know, social, social media that you can interact with. Awesome. Um, well, I think we'll just go from there. And folks, make sure you uh, stay in touch uh, with Bada Bing to see what's going on as they are hard at work and making something that looks really promising and awesome. Uh, Phil, I want to thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, best of luck with this awesome product. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.